Hey YouTube, it's Dave from DroneReviewsAndNews.com and today we have an Osmo Pocket firmware update that you're absolutely going to love. Decinalike, Pro Mode features right in the Osmo Pocket and more. So come right back. <music> Welcome back guys. So if you're used to what uh, we've been doing with the Osmo Pocket here, you know that we are currently running two different versions of the Mimo app. I'm just going to open this up very quickly here. So we have in that iPhone the public version of the Mimo app and in our beta version, a uh, beta version of the Mimo app. So this is, um, we're getting the firmware update also in the beta version as well. Uh, but what it essentially does is it allows you to have pro mode settings in the Osmo Pocket without having to connect the Mimo app. And you're also going to get d like uh, video quality coloring. So check this out here, and we're gonna walk you through how to do all these settings in the Osmo Pocket without having to connect your smartphone. Okay, welcome back guys. So we're just gonna quickly walk you through uh, accessing these new pro mode and Cinelike features in the Osmo Pocket. So the first thing you're going to do with the Osmo Pocket turned on is you're going to swipe down the top menu and you'll notice as you scroll across, you now have a new one, which is AFC and AFS, which changes your focus from being centered on a specific single object and permanently focused or continuous focus for objects that are in motion. The next one is Pro Mode. Tap on Pro Mode, you can see it brightens the illumination. And then when you go back up to the main menu, you can see you now have this yellow Pro icon in the top left. So we are in, we'll get out of panel here. We want to make sure we're in video mode first. There we go. Tap on that Pro icon, and you now have a choice of color between Decimalike and Normal. You can change your white balance, sunny, cloudy, auto, and adjust all of your temperature settings if you want to go that deep. You can adjust your exposure, here's your shutter speed, and over here is your ISO. Before this was available, you had to do this by connecting your smartphone and doing it in the Mimo app. And we also have low, moderate, high, and automatic volume. And I, I have played around with this a little bit already in the Mimo app. And so far, I do prefer auto setting for volume uh, in just about everything I do. I haven't found an instance yet where I would set it on low, but you could consider yourself at a, a really loud environment like a, a rock concert or you know around heavy machinery or something like that, where a low volume setting might be preferred. So that's the pro mode in the video setting. We'll go over to the photo setting now. And we'll tap the pro icon and you have a choice between JPEG and RAW or straight JPEG. Again, you can adjust your white balance. Okay. And you can change your exposure. So let's go to 150th of a second and we can toggle between auto mode and in auto mode, you can adjust that exposure. Perfect. So those are the new settings in today's firmware update for the Osmo Pocket. We hope you like them. It's going to make it a lot more convenient uh, to have control over your focusing as well as your d -like and manual camera settings right in the Osmo Pocket without having to connect your smartphone. Let us know what questions you have in comments below, guys. Make sure you subscribe. And don't forget we're giving an Osmo Pocket away to one of our first 1,000 subscribers.